It was a rainy day in Colonial Williamsburg. We were out, hungry, during the lunchtime hour. Many times we'd driven past this place called Precarious Beer Project, seated on the corner of South Henry and Francis Street West. Easy to spot the open flame and thirsty patrons that typically congregate in front of it. Drinking malt beverages not being our thing, we just always admired the fiery view from Streetside. But we've always been curious what's inside. When we learned there was actually a taco bar and a fairly new Smashburger joint inside, under the umbrella of Precarious Beer Project, we figured, hey, we're hungry, let's go grab a bite to eat. We entered the building on the burger side of things, and after some quick investigation, I began learning the ropes. The attendant there told us that Precarious Beer Project, Old Dominion, and Electric Circus are all interconnected, so you can run a tab up on all three places on the same ticket. Carefully breaking away from the crowds of parched patrons, we found ourselves having an inside look at the beer houses, brewing equipment, and inventory. Word along Dog Street says this place has everything it needs to make what craft beer connoisseurs around the globe expect from their local tap rooms. IPAs, lagers, sours, and stouts, this is where they make them. From what I could detect and determine, Precarious Beer Project's brewing technology, vessels, and fermentation systems are part of a concise process that allows for a wide array of brews to be produced here on site. With two places to eat inside, we had decided a smash burger would fit the bill. Here we are at Old Dominion Burger home of the smash burger and they've got a large array of different types of burgers the dodb the first rodeo hamburger usa pizza burger black and blue the snob burger i think that would be the burger sarah would probably pick <laughs> they've got other things like the bird odb wings old coney basic dog, the fall salad, and up here is the Old Dominion Burger. Very vintage looking menu. Looks like uh, from the 80s era with all the menu pricing. Of course over here you've got the more polished modern version of the menu. And I'm looking into the kitchen area and I see big cups of really nice looking french fries. We're hoping Old Dominion Burger offers up a mean collaboration of uh, spices and seasonings on our fried potatoes. I'm curious what the dirty fry is. He's scooping what looks like a chili on those french fries, so I'm wondering, is that what makes them dirty? It says dirty sauce, and so maybe that's what makes it dirty. I'm not sure. Somehow. Every time I spot a swinging kitchen door, my daydreaming mind will have me thinking about an old Sesame Street episode I remembered watching as a child. Hey, Charlie, Table 26 wants a hot alphabet soup. Pretty random, I know. And right through that door is where the smash burger process happens. And it's a secret that only the chefs of Old Dominion Burger know exactly how to smash that burger. Uh, I get one of the I'm gonna do the ODB2. Can you add tomato and onion to it? No, we don't do any add-ons when it takes up all. We get the Simple Folk, that's the one that has like tomato, jam, onion. The Simple Folk has cheese, lettuce, sun-dried tomato, onion, and pickles. That'll work. Yeah, let me, let me do that. And then an order of french fries. I'm curious what the dirty fry is. What makes it dirty? Uh, that's um, two pieces of old domain, like the dirty fries, the dirty sauce. That's why they call it. On this rainy day in Colonial Williamsburg, I am 
quite hungry looking at those french fries. Oh, like you know how fries usually come regular? So I have dirty sauce and then with everything on it just... Okay, I didn't know if it was like a seasoning or... Okay. Oh, yeah, like, so it has like a fry seasoning on it and then oh, okay. with dirty sauce and the chili that goes... Well, it's probably there. best to get it dirty. Huh? Yeah, no, like the dirty fries, it's like um, it's like a orange and kind of size, so it's pretty filling. Okay, we'll just do it the, the regular. And then uh, two coats. No. In the beginning, like the guy, he's, uh, he's like a blogger, and they go at it in the beginning, and at the end, they're like friends and everything. Are they really? <laughs> it's called Chef? Yeah. I'll have to check that out. I won't send it until we all say it's okay. Why don't you come by again tonight? I got a whole new menu just for you, oh, No, no, no. That's man. not good. It's out there now, so what happens? Why did you do you that? You can't take that back. Thanks, ma'am. So what they do? Give you a buzzer? Yeah, they give you a buzzer, and he said that it works anywhere in this whole area. And then right next door to Old Dominion Burger is Precarious Beer Project. And not sure if the concept is you order your burger and then you go to Precarious Beer Project to uh, have a beverage and eat your meal. And then here is the Electric Circus, the other place you can eat inside Precarious Beer Project. And there's the menu, everything from fried catfish to pork carnitas, electric nachos, electric wings, the quesadillas, and everything in between. And over here they've got ski ball and basketball. Looks like jet pong. You try to get your uh, pong inside a plastic cup. And here's some precarious beer project merchandise. We've got jackets and uh, what do we got here? Is that an ugly sweater? Do they have their own signature hot sauce? See the basic beach, cry me a river. Taste of your own medicine, so pitted and stings like a bee. Imagine their own personal brand of precarious beer hall drinking selections. You see here you got the Lost in Transit, Jerk Bait, Kung Fu, Big Stacks, Mr. Palmer, No Politics, and the Proton Bomb amongst other subcategories there and all the different styles of uh, malt beverage it is from braggot to alt beer stouts and lagers hazy ipas and cold ipas and ambers and brown ales porters and shandies grafts and west coast ipas and the water boy makes an appearance fill up your water right there after admiring the high-quality H2O hydration station, once and for all, we headed outside to get our first ever look at the exterior seating space we'd often driven past when caravanning through downtown CW. This time though, our vantage point would be from behind the flames that even a rainy day in Colonial Williamsburg couldn't extinguish. Finally, our old Dominion burgers were served up. With my Simple Folk sandwich selection, sporting just the right amount of LTO pickles. And oh yeah, that dirty sauce on those crinkle cuts. It all makes sense now. Enjoying a cold Coke classic with each warm, soft burger bite turned our precarious hunger situation into certain fulfillment. We dunk for the win yet again historic downtown Williamsburg, Virginia. <laughs>